Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Lia Apriliani. I'm from Class B, and my ID number is 18212072. In this occasion, I will explain about criteria for textbook evaluation. According to Cunningsworth, in 1995, there are four criteria for evaluating textbooks. For the first, the textbook should correspond to learner's needs. It means they should match the aims and objectives of the language program. And then they should reflect the uses the learners will make of the language. The textbooks should be chosen that will help complete students to use language effectively for their own purposes. And then the textbook should take account of students' needs as learners and should facilitate their learning processes or we can call it that the textbook as a facilitator of learning activity of the students itself and the last one is they should have a clear rule as a support for learning for the example when the teacher will teach about grammar of course the textbook must contain or must consist of exercise exercise sorry of grammar itself and then according to Dudley events and institutions in 1998 suggest that the following question should be asked when selecting ESB materials the first will the materials stimulate and motivate second to what extent does the material match the stated learning objectives and your learning objectives? And the third is, to what extent will the material support the learning process? So the textbook must answer this question. And here we can see the word of ESP. What does ESP mean? ESP is uh, English for specific purposes or generally defined as a language teaching area requiring careful research and design of pedagogical material and activities for identifiable group of learners within specific learning contexts. According to Dudley events in 1998. And the next there are checklists of course book evaluation or the uh, criterion that include in the book evaluation. There are some experts like Harmer, Brown, and Cunningsworth. For the first in the Harmer, there are price, availability, layout and design, methodology, skill, syllabus, topic, stereotyping, teacher's guide. And the second one, in the brown one, there are goals, background of the students, approach, language skill, general content, quality of practice material, sequencing, vocabulary, general sociolinguistic factors, format, accompanying material, and the teacher's guide. And the last one, from Cunningsort, there are aims and approaches, design and organization, language content, skills, topic, methodology, teacher's book, and practical consideration. But now I will focus on the first one. It is based on Harmer. In the Harmer G in 1998, with the title How to Teach English as Sex at the So Area, the criterion for the first is price. Question to consider is how expensive is the textbook? Can the student afford it? Is it affordable? And then availability. Must answer the question is the course available? And the shops know? Or has it been published? What about tips, videos, and extracts? 
And the third is layout and design. Must answer the question of, is the book attractive? Does the teacher feel comfortable with it? Do the students like it or not? Or does it get in the way of what the book is trying to do or does it enhance it? And then, the fourth criterion is methodology. What kind of teaching and learning does the book promote? Can teacher and student feel appropriate yes as sequence from it? And is there a good balance between study and activation? And the fifth is skills. Does the book cover the four skills like reading, writing, listening, and speaking? And is the language of the reading and listening text appropriate? Are the speaking and writing tasks likely to engage the student's interest? And then, the syllabus. Is the syllabus of the book appropriate for your students, for your learning outcomes, for your learning goals, and so on? And then, the topic. Does the book contain a variety of topics or just one topic? The next is stereotyping. Does the book present or represent people and situation in a fair and equal way? Is there stereotyping of certain nationalities? Or we can call it the textbook should not contain about uh, Sarah or everything that can make our country this interpretation. And the last is teacher's guide. Is there a good teacher's guide? Is it easy to, to use? Sorry, is it easy to use? Or does it have all the answers the teacher might need? Okay, I think it's just enough. Thank you for the attention. I'm sorry if I have made any mistake. And for the next material will be delivered by Alifa Badilah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.